Welcome to the Cryptosphere. This is Cryptogenic coming at you. Today is Wednesday, September 29th at 5.32 p.m. here in sunny California. It has been requested that I take a look at the BCH, the Bitcoin Cash chart. And so we're going to be looking at Bitcoin Cash today. And let me say that the Bitcoin Cash chart looks strong. Uh, jumping right in here to the chart, as you can see, I'm predicting uh, $4,000 by the end of the year, $39.91 or $40.42 uh, by January 1st, early January this year. I'm predicting that uh, we're going to see an epic rise for Bitcoin Cash. But let's take a look at where it is right now. Uh, right now, for all intents and purposes, it's bearish. We saw bearish divergence in the RSI all the way back here uh, in January of this year on this weekly chart. We were making higher highs in the price action here while simultaneously making lower lows in the RSI. And sure enough, uh, right here at this top here on May 21st, uh, that's when the price action caught up with the RSI and the price action started to move downward with the RSI. So the question is, how far down are we going to go before we see the correction come to an end and Bitcoin Cash begin to take off in its next impulsive wave? And this is what I'm seeing. First of all, we see this trend line down here that goes all the way back to March of 2020. We've honored that trend all the way up to this point. We've honored the trend. But... I think this line here, this support line here at $383 is very important. And I think that there's a very good chance that we get a wick that comes down and touches this line before we break above this line of resistance. And once we break above this line of resistance and make a higher high here above 847 or above uh, uh, 811, uh, now we're back in bullish territory. And now uh, the next impulsive wave uh, can begin to move us uh, towards uh, a new all-time high, really, for uh, Bitcoin Cash is really what we're looking at. Uh, looking at the daily chart of Bitcoin Cash, we're seeing somewhat of the same thing. Um, yeah, uh, assuming that this is the bottom, uh, we could draw the trend line there, but I think there's a good chance that it breaks beneath that line and comes down here at least to 443, but I think actually uh, we, could, we could even uh, potentially move this this line down a little bit further and revisit the bottom of this line. So if that's the case, uh, we'll bounce. So there's not there's a chance that we're already bouncing, uh, but there, because if you look at the RSI here on the daily, that the RSI has bounced. Um, however, once again, uh, we had much more recent bearish divergence in the RSI here, and it's yet to be seen if we have overcome it. Well, I mean, we haven't overcome it yet, but it's yet to be seen if we're going to overcome it uh, in the near future, if we have to fall further uh, before we bounce again at 387. I do believe, for all intents and purposes, 387 to be the bottom. If I were getting ready to buy some BCH, that's where I would put my buy order in, honestly, uh, and save about $100. Uh, but yeah, we saw lower highs in the RSI, higher highs in the price action. And so what's going to have to happen in order for this correction to be over is the RSI has to make a higher high. And uh, even if, you know, if we come up and we retouch this line up here and then maybe bounce a little bit and then break up towards a, a higher high, as long as the RSI does not bounce at this line and start moving down, uh, then the correction would uh, continue. Uh, so we're having to watch it. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, uh, of course, you know, I've, I'm just I'm very bullish in the long term on BCH. I think Bitcoin Cash is super strong. Uh, the advantage it has over over regular Bitcoin is that it's not just a store of value, but it's also a means of exchange uh, in terms of, um, of assets that are used for transactions. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is par excellence. It's much faster, uh, much more um, uh, much more efficient. Also, um, AMC Theaters is going to accept Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the, the adoption of it is just continuing to grow. Uh, and so I'm very excited about Bitcoin Cash. However, we've got to jump over here to this Bitcoin chart because as we all know, as goes Bitcoin, so goes the market. So the future of what's going to happen with Bitcoin Cash in the short term will largely depend upon what happens with Bitcoin <clears throat> in the short term as well. Can I just say, folks, that uh, we have been through an exceedingly long correction period. I mean, not exceedingly long, but exceedingly long in terms of 
without it being a bear market. Okay, bear markets last a lot longer than this, uh, but this correction has gone on for longer than perhaps any of us intent or anticipated that it would. Uh, when we started to fall from our, our, our all-time high over here at 69,000, uh, it's now been um, 168 days. And uh, we've seen, uh, man, it's just been, it's been crazy. So yeah, I am anticipating that we're coming to the end of this. I really believe that we are going to see an epic month in the month of October. And I'm believing that Bitcoin's going to bounce off of the 37,000 and going to press toward breaking its all-time high and even moving higher. Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, once again, as long as we stay in this trend here, uh, we're fine. We can bounce bullish. Uh, but some good news is the RSI is trying to break out of this trend here at the top side. If we do get a, a burst of RSI and the RSI stays above this line, uh, that's good news for um, for the price action of Bitcoin. Uh, if it capitulates back within the trend and, and visits the bottom of it, uh, that could be bad. Well, even if it visits the bottom of it, that simply anticipates us visiting the bottom of this trend. But if we break beneath the bottom of it, that's when we're coming down here uh, to see this line here again. And for all intents and purposes, that's possible. Uh, but I think it's more likely that we bounce off the bottom of this trend and continue to move upward. And once we break above the 56,000 mark, we are once again bullish for Bitcoin. Taking a look at XRP, uh, once again, we're seeing um, XRP uh, has been moving in this triangle here. I am anticipating a revisitation of this box here. Uh, that means that XRP could come back and touch about 77 cents as low as even uh, 72 cents, 72 and a half cents uh, before bouncing. But I am expecting XRP by the end of the year to be between somewhere between 11.73 and $20. Uh, definitely moving, seeing that and um, believing for that as well. Looking at um, the daily chart uh, once again, uh, let's see, I got a better daily chart here. Oh, this is a four hour chart. Yeah, on the four hour chart, of XRP, what we can see is we keep moving in this wedges. This was an ascending broadening wedge, uh, but this is now an ascending um, narrowing wedge here. And we're coming to the end. We're going to make a decision here. So we got to watch the RSI here, whether it breaks uh, positive or negative, or it breaks bullish or bearish uh, out of this wedge here. And um, that will uh, give us an indication of which direction we're going to go. Um, yeah, so actually, Let's see. Um, if XRP is going to revisit about 72 cents, that means we're going to break down bearish out of this trend. And if we break down bearish out of this trend, let's see where that puts us. Uh, that puts us at about 83 cents. So it could be that we don't go down as far as 72 cents. What did I say? Uh, the top of this box puts us at 82 cents and the bottom of the box puts us at 72 um, let's see where does the line put us at if we so if we touch the line let's say next week that's 77 cents if we touch the line this week that's 75 cents so let's see what is this chart telling us 83 cents so yeah you know we just have to watch it uh, maybe we wick beneath that line maybe we don't we just have to watch it Okay, hold on, folks. My wife's calling me. I'll be right back with you in just a second. Hello. All right, I'm back. What was I talking about? Yeah, so I think uh, at least 83 cents uh, is a strong possibility. Um, or we can just correct, you know, move right out of here. If we break bullish out of here, we keep moving up. We never come back down uh, to visit these lines. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, XRP against BTC is still moving strong. It's It uh, got rejected here at this trend line here. If we are able to break out of that trend line and start moving upward, uh, everything is looking good. If we can make a, a higher high above this line and a higher high in the RSI, I mean, in, in the price action, everything's looking good there as well. You know, there, Litecoin, I don't understand why Litecoin doesn't get very much love. 
I talk about Litecoin and people, I don't know why, people don't like Litecoin. I don't know what it is about Litecoin, but I love Litecoin. Um, I think with Litecoin, we could easily get a drop down to $127. I think $127 is going to be the bottom. Uh, if it does drop that far, I'm definitely going to have a trade order waiting there uh, and to capitalize on that opportunity because I think Litecoin is going to do exceedingly well. Have you ever looked at this site? It's called CoinFair value.com it basically simply compares the fair value of these assets against the current price and what we find uh, is that for a lot of these like for instance Bitcoin right now is 41,000 it's telling us that the fair value of Bitcoin is 17,000 based upon the usage based on current usage of, of each coin it's not speculation in terms of future value it's simply saying the current according to the current usage of the coin it should be this value. This is really the value based on usage. Uh, Ethereum is, you know, almost a third of what it actually costs. Cardano is actually a little bit more than its current value. XRP is almost half uh, its current value simply because of the SEC lawsuit. When that comes through, this number is going to skyrocket. Uniswap is actually almost double. Um, and Stellar Lumens is uh, almost double as well. Uh, Litecoin is substantially higher. The fair value is higher than the actual cost of the asset right now. Tezos as well. That's interesting. I got to buy some more Tezos. But Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash has consistently uh, held a fair value that is substantially higher than the market price. Um, and so Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, I feel the same way about those two. Uh, mass adoption, when you're talking about mass adoption, uh, you're talking about Litecoin, you're talking about Bitcoin Cash, and also Theta Token and other, other things as well. All right, so yes, I am expecting a $1,000 Litecoin before the end of this year, $1,000 plus. I think it could go as high as $1,300, and I think within a couple of years we can see easily a three to $5,000 Litecoin coin all right i'm talking your ear off uh that's all i got for you today uh i'm gonna cut the video here but i just want to say that i am expecting an epic rise in the whole crypto market um in october starting in october i believe the next impulsive wave is going to begin in october and uh from say early to mid-october through the end of the year i think we're going to see an epic rise in the crypto market uh and we're going to see some new all-time highs for uh, many different assets, and I think uh, BCH is one of those assets that I am highly looking forward to seeing blast off and reach its potential. All right, that's all I got for you tonight. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, just my opinion. And uh, do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and leave me a comment to let me know what you think of this and also, uh, what would you like to hear about? Would you like to see some TAs of some other assets? Uh, uh, I'd love to do some. If I get enough requests for a particular asset, I'll do a TA of it in the next video. All right. Uh, with that being said, make it your aim to sleep in peace every night, wake in joy every morning, and walk in love every night. This is Cryptogenic, signing out.